Hi, I'm Wendy Foster with Pilates Anytime. And today I'm going to share with you some of my most favorite core exercises for prenatal and postpartum. So go ahead, start standing. You're going to inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, flow through, walk your hands out, pedal those feet, get a nice stretch before we go deep, sliding your shoulders down, bringing that breath to your core. Go ahead and come on to your knees. Slide your shoulders down, bring your forearms on the mat, bring your soft part of your thighs onto the floor and reach your head forward. You're gonna inhale as you flex your feet and exhale, point your toes. Inhale, flex your feet and exhale, point your toes. <sighs> inhale and exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale, bring your breath to the sides of your ribs and get a nice full breath. Exhale, last one, inhale and exhale. Coming to all fours, inhale as you arch your back and exhale as you tuck and curl. Inhale as you arch and exhale as you curl. Slide those shoulders down, come to a nice neutral position, making sure that your weight is evenly distributed on your hands and on your knees. You're gonna inhale and exhale, pull the belly away from the floor. So inhale into the sides of the ribs and exhale, pull the belly in without tucking your tail or arching your back. Stay nice and neutral. Inhale again and exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, this time as you exhale, see if you can slide one leg out and one arm forward. Slide that shoulder down, pull that belly in and bring everything back to center. Inhale again and exhale, opposite arm, opposite leg, sliding the shoulder down your back and exhale in. If that feels okay, see if you can reach out and maybe you can lift the leg up without arching that back. Do a little bit of a micro curl and stay right there and then slide everything in. Inhale to prepare and exhale, reach. Lift that leg up and hold it for a couple of breaths and bringing that down. Inhale as you reach out, slide that shoulder down, exhale, lift the leg up. See if you can stay curled through that belly just enough and maybe you can add a little toe tap. That belly is drawing in. If that's too much on your back, go ahead and bring your hand down. Keeping those hips parallel and slide everything in and slide that leg out. Other arm reaches up, pull the leg up and pulse. Making sure the abs are drawing in, reach the arm long, or again, you can bring that hand down for a little more stability. Try not to sink onto that left side arm. Two and one. Go ahead and bring that in. We're going to come to a side position here onto your forearm, sliding your shoulders down. Draw the belly in and see if you can do that same abdominal engagement on your side. So inhale, exhale, draw the belly in. You can use this arm to stabilize. Inhale and exhale. If that's feeling all right and you little want a little bit more, go ahead and lift your hips up. Drawing that belly in and down. Exhale, everything draws up and in and lift and down. One more, exhale, draw that belly in, lift up, hold it here, sliding the hips away from the ribs and come back down. Squeeze those feet together. You're gonna inhale, open up that top leg and exhale back. Inhale up, nice and long through the waist. Using those oblique muscles, Shoulders are nice and stacked. Two and one. Go ahead and swing yourself over to the other side. Left forearm down on the floor, sliding the shoulders down, making sure those hips are nice and stacked. Lengthen that hip away, squeeze the feet together. See if you can exhale, draw that belly in in the sideline position, feel those waist muscles. And then see if you can exhale, Pull the belly in and lift up without any bulging or tension in your back and down. And again, exhale, draw in and lift. 
and down. One more exhale, come up. See if you can hold it here. Release any tension in your neck and come back down. Shoulders draw down, feet press together. Inhale as you open and exhale back. So hips stay nice and stacked. You're not rolling back onto your hip. You're pressing your feet together, engaging that pelvic floor with your core. Three more. Couple more, pressing that leg into the floor. Last one. And down. Go ahead and come down onto your back. So you'll sit up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, draw that belly in and slowly roll back. Coming all the way down, walking your arms nice and long, shoulders nice and wide. Exhale, hips stay nice and bolted to the floor. You have a tiny space in between your low back and the mat. You don't want to press and tuck under. Keep that space. No matter what's going on with your legs, exhale, tap that toe to the floor. So bring your breath right above your pubic bone as you tap down. The leg muscles aren't really doing the work. It's all happening right in your center. Two more, nice and even. You're not rocking and rolling through the hips. And other side. So again, exhale, tap the toe. And wrapping up that core, shoulders draw down. Press through the fingers, press through the hands. And one, that other leg comes right back up, the knees right at tabletop. See if you can inhale, straighten that leg out, and exhale, pull it in. Inhale out, and exhale in. You can make this as challenging as you want by deciding how high you want that leg to go. A little easier if the leg's up higher. If you want a little more work, bring it down lower. And exhale. You can also bring one arm up or both arms up. Last one. And down, other leg comes up. Hips stay bolted down, reaching it away. And in. Same thing, you can really press into the floor with your arms. Stay nice and neutral. Keep that bra strap and rib cage gently pressing into the floor. Arms can come up. Leg can go lower or leg can go higher. It's up to you. One more. And down. Shake your legs out. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Roll off to the side. Do a little log roll to come on up. And these are some of my favorite exercises to do during pregnancy or postnatal. You can find me at Pilates anytime. Again, I'm Wendy Foster.